Hi there guys, and today we're in an episode of the FIFA 13 career mode with Spurs, and so we head off into the episode with a similar game against West Ham, and so this West Ham game we won 4-0, with Hernandez again smashing in two goals, like I say, this guy is definitely a guy to buy on career mode, like I say, at first I didn't know if he would be that good, but seriously, now I've bought him, I definitely recommend him, so if you're starting a career mode and you have enough to buy him, um, definitely get him, definitely recommend him, um, so far he's never made a full season, um, at the end of this episode we're just heading into the January transfer window and he's already gone up 3 overalls, 3 overalls already so I definitely recommend buying him and it's not the overalls to go up as well, he's just amazing he's got good pace and good shooting and you know there's one of his strongest stats both of them so that's really good to get so definitely recommend getting him and so like I said with it being January guys leave some comments on who to buy so far uh, for striker I've got Rodrigo who you guys have been saying to get so I definitely got him on our shortlist um, you'll see that near the end of the episode, along with Pogba, because I want Pogba to play CDM. So if I can sign those two, that'd be really good. And so in this game, guys, we go against Liverpool and we win 1-0, which is sort of good, you know, because we continue through. We didn't get knocked out, and also we got a request from Norway, which I turned down just because I just simply didn't want to, you know, manage Norway. And also, guys, just quickly point this out, if we could hit um, 25 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. And so anyway, uh, we move into this game against Fulham, which I simmed. And unfortunately, Livermore gets a red card, which wasn't really good, you know, not, not good of him. But, you know, oh well, you know, got other CDMs on the bench, luckily, you know, we can play um, Sandro there, or Livermore, or some, you know, other CDM to play anyway. So it was luckily that we played Huddlestone and Sandro there. And so anyway, we go into this game with Liverpool. And so like I say, last game we won 1-0 against Liverpool. And so now this game, I was wondering, you know, are we going to win? because um, we beat him in the last time are we going to beat him again and unfortunately Suarez breaks away in 10 minutes and scores luckily and so again it's, it's 15 minutes in you know literally seconds after well not seconds obviously but you know what I mean straight after they scored with storage getting a goal and so I was like right I'm 2-0 down I've got to bring this back and I was trying you know to bring this back because anyone don't want to lose but unfortunately we did and so Suarez scores again and unfortunately we lose that game 3-0 which wasn't good but um, oh well you know you always, always make some mistakes but um, I'm happy to lose that game then the cup game because I want to be able to win some silverware this season that would be really good so this game we sim again against Everton I've been simming a lot of games recently which I really want to you know stop doing but unfortunately not unfortunately but I want to stop doing it because it's never that good plus if I play the games the overalls go up quicker and Hernandez got injured that game but it wasn't for too long so that wasn't too bad and so um, like I say, Moriel, I've got to admit, I would have thought he would have done better than he is, like, overall-wise, but he isn't, which is surprising, but unfortunately. Um, but better Lee, to be honest, not better Lee, but, you know, he is worth a lot more than I bought him for now, so if I wanted to sell him, I could sell him for more, which is not too bad. So, we went to this game against Swansea, and I simmed it again, and Corker and another defender, I forgot who it is, yeah, Kyle Walker as well. Corker and Kyle Walker, they both got a red card, so, took them put them two off and we moved on into the next game so that's sort of disadvantage as well against um, similar games I am um, getting red cards injuries which I was playing you know it's less likely to happen so again similar game which you'll see near the end of the episode guys I do do more playing games I play more of the games more often um, in after I think it's yeah after this episode we are in January and so in January there will be a lot more games and so with those more games I'll be um, playing more but um, this, you know, these episodes are just dying to get to, what's his name, the transfer window because I wanted to buy these players. So, uh, I've still got to wait players to sell before I can buy some players, unfortunately, but, you know, that's how it goes. So, we're playing against Aston Villa right now, and we get awarded a penalty, which none other than Hernandez, who's been really good for the team so far, takes it, and he's going to score. Which, I thought the goalkeeper could have leaned over, you know, caught that easily, but unfortunately not. So, luckily, we scored that one. Hernandez leaves us 1-0 in. And again, it's taken us till halfway time to score, which is not good, I've got to admit. We really need to be scoring before, because then we can rest in a match, then, you know, not try. But you'll see in the last two games that I do play, because, you know, this was recorded yesterday, that I do go on full on attack, you know. And that's why I'm just constantly attacking, attacking, attacking. You know, it's the best thing to do with this team, you know, get bail and Oxley Chamberlain on the wings, just attacking, you know, getting those goals. It's the best thing to do. So instead of, you know, waiting for the perfect opportunity, it's better just to keep attacking and then, you know, trying to score, put the goalkeeper on pressure because, you know, always having shots on him, always getting him on target. We're going to at least get him on and at least once. And so like I said, we have 
um, international offer which do not want to do um, unfortunately not for this series anyway and so we take Holtby off because of he cannot play and so we see in this game against Sunderland like I say Sunderland has felt like I, you know I felt just simply that I could easily win um, not anything against that just I felt like you know if I played that I just feel like I, I could easily win and so also guys for this episode now uh, only just this episode I've actually done the Scout Star um, I think it's on episode I think it was 3 that I went to do it and then my career mode crashed and so it's you know sort of stopped as you can see there Scout's been dispatched so it sort of stopped the Scout Star so now it's finally been done and you can see here we put some players out on sell uh, like I say I need to sell some players because I've only got 7 million and 21,000 so I need to sell some players before I bring any in so I'm going to sell the foe and other bio and a couple of others but um, like I said the Scout Star is now out so hopefully we can um, get ourselves one of them on the roll and we can loan him out next season well it depends when he comes but hopefully load him out then he'll come back and then we can play him which can depend on where he wants to play if anything I want a better maybe defender or something like that I know it's better to have like maybe a striker but for the career mode and whether I'd play him or not uh, if I played him in striker obviously I've got these two strikers right now so you know there won't really be any room for him to play striker so I'm trying to think of a place where I'd want him so maybe goalkeeper would be good I'm not too fussed to be honest whenever I get him because if anything I'll just get his overall up and sell him or maybe even play him depends but like I say in this game against Ipswich like I say again Ipswich are lower league than the BPL and we would have thought you know sim that game but no you know anything can happen and so I thought I'm just going to play it and so in this game this is the game I just went all out just constantly shooting you know trying to score proper putting pressure onto the goalkeeper and here we go we no, 2-0 but 2-0 up sorry by Hernandez again Hernandez just absolutely outpacing everyone and just scoring tons of goals so really good for him and um, Bale going down the wing he has really improved from an 85 I think to an 87 same with Lloris he's gone from an 85 to an 87 now so as I say Bale running down Hernandez with a volley and it goes in off the deflection off the keeper's arm so that's really good as well and so Hernandez scores again a little celebration which was um, I don't I don't intend to do celebrations anymore. I just intend to just you know pass it on. But um, the day score one back. Luckily, just score one back. But it wasn't really anything because we just three nil three nil up. You know it wasn't going to do anything to us. And so we had an offer for Hugo Lloris, who I wasn't going to sell. Like I say, he's one of the best goalkeepers, or arguably the best, you could say. But uh, I'm definitely not going to sell him. And so like I say, Sigurdsson is injured for three months after that game. I uh, sort of missed out the message that we got, but he is out for three months. But luckily, we got Holtby and Dembele who can play there. So even if we do sell Dembele, uh, Dembele, sorry, we got Holtby, so it's not much of a problem. So unfortunately, he's out, but uh, he's our free kick taker. Because I know somebody commented, "Don't sell him because he's really good at free kicks," which I noticed that, but um, at the time I more or less forgot. But uh, definitely keeping him for that now. And as I know, further on in the episode, guys, we sim the game against Everton and we draw 2-2. We drew, sorry, 2-2. But um, luckily now, I thought, you know, I'm going to play the game. I don't want to risk that again. And so, like I say, like I say, this game again, we just went all out attacking. And so, Muriel there with a the goal. And uh, we have, I think we have another goal coming up here. I'm not too sure. Yeah, we have another goal here coming up, which died Dembele again. Header to make it 3-0, which I must have missed out that second goal there, which is unfortunate. But anyway, guys, um, I'm going to end the episode here. So, I hope you did enjoy um, and the offer for Lloris, which like I said, I'm not going to sell him. But anyway guys, hope you do enjoy the episode. And if you do, leave a like down below and a comment. And also subscribe. And I will see you all next time guys. So thank you all for watching.